Today I will explain how fire is generated from short circuit. What is series and parallel arc fault? These are short circuit faults. I have a device AFDD, a special circuit breaker that is called arc fault reduction device. It is also called arc fault circuit interrupter AFCI. Then how AFDD prevents fire from short circuit? First I will explain all this. Then I will show you this breaker. MCB breaker is used for over current and short circuit protection. RCCB breaker is used for earth leakage current fault protection. An AFDD breaker, which is under discussion now, is used to protect from arc fault. Now arc faults are three types. First type is series arc fault, second is line to neutral parallel arc fault, third is line to earth parallel arc fault. Now first I will explain what is series arc fault. This is simple circuit. This is load. Current is flowing so no problem. Suppose in this wire there is a crack. Like this. So here arcing or sparking will take place. This current still will flow. But because of arcing there will be fire. So fire problem is there due to this kind of fault. So this kind of problem is called the series arc fault. Now line to neutral parallel arc fault. This line wire and neutral wire will not be far away. They will be running parallel. Distance between these two will be very less. Now suppose here there is an insulation cut or some other problem, then there will be arcing or there will be sparking. That is called line to neutral parallel arc fault. But this will be high impedance path. How? I will explain. See, this is normal short circuit. Resistance here is very low. So very heavy current flows here and MCB will trip. But here it is not like this. Here it is not shorted due to zero resistance wire. Here impedance of this path is very high. So it is called high impedance path short circuits. So sparking will take place here. Still current will flow here. Still load will operate. Here load will not operate because MCB will trip. And because it is happening between line to neutral, so it is called line to neutral parallel arc fault. If in place of neutral it is earth, fault is between line and earth, then it is called line to earth parallel arc fault. So fire problem is there due to this kind of fault. Fire due to short circuit means that short circuit is arc type fault. Now I will explain how fire is generated from arc or sparking. I have shown a copper fire and current is flowing in this wire. This is insulation. I have shown this copper wire very thick just for explanation. This may be thin copper wire. Now suppose there is a some cut here due to some reason. This portion has cut. Now what will happen? Earlier current was flowing like this. Now the same current will flow like this. Here copper thickness is less. But same current is flowing. So here temperature of copper will increase. Heat will be more. If thickness is less here, more heat will be produced. Then what will happen? When heat becomes too much, 
then copper here will melt. But current still will flow because here gas will be there. So temperature here will start increasing further. This will become many thousand degree. Then what happens? Because of high temperature here, this insulation will get fire and firing will be there. And there will be fire in whole system also. So this is the insulation which get fire. You see that because of simple cut, this insulation is getting fire. Now causes of our fault, this happened due to cut in insulation and wire. It may be due to damage insulation, due to nails, cable breaking due to bending, cable damage due to UV radiation, cut by rats, loose connections, and this insulation quality will come down after using many years. So because of all these reasons, our fault may be possible. This is block diagram of AFDD breaker. See here two wires are coming line and neutral and two wires are going out. And current is flowing in this wire. This is controller. This is electronic controller. It has two sensors which sense the current. One sensor sends the high frequency current, other sensor sends the low frequency AC current. This arc produces high frequency current in the wire. These two current, high frequency and normal AC current goes to controller. Controller will process it and it if required, it will trick using a MCB. There will be MCB inside also. So this way, it sends the arc by sensing high frequency current and trick the system as per requirement. Now this arc fault generates high frequency current in the wire, but high frequency current is generated from so many things like in rush current, in lamps, power drill load, light dimmer, switch, brush motors, harmonizing power supply, all these generates harmonics. All these generate high frequency current in the wire. Then controller should differentiate between them that this is real or fault or current or due to normal load. Now I will explain that how to make the difference. How to differentiate between arc high frequency current and normal high frequency current. So controller measures all these things. Power of the high frequency current component, high frequency current duration and repetition, high frequency current stability, RMS of normal current, synchronization, and irregularity of the arc. Controller also measures RSSI, D by DT RSSI and DI by DT. RSSI means Received Signal Strength Indication. Today I will not discuss about this in detail. Now after measuring so many parameters of the current waveform, controller will analyze the waveform of the arc current. This is also called the signature. High frequency current is produced by many equipments, but the nature of high frequency current or nature of the high frequency waveform will be different for different equipment. That waveform is called the signature. By seeing that waveform, controller can tell it is due to our current or due to some other region. I will show you example. See, this is total current. 
in that this is high frequency component now suppose we remove high frequency component then high frequency component will be like this here it is more here it is less so this nature of high frequency current is called signature this wave shape is different for different equipments so controller can find out it is due to arc or due to some different equipment here i have shown very simple concept to generate trip signal this is total current which has high frequency component due to arc from that r ssi is generated this is actually high frequency component power it will come something like this then we differentiate this wave shape dy dt r ssi so it will come like this then we have two reference here then we check whether this value is more than this or not this peak value is more than this value or not if more then they will see for how long it comes then they will integrate this value and if value becomes more then they will generate the trip signal assuming that this is due to arc and breaker will trip this is normal mcb breaker of lnt make this is afdd breaker what we are discussing now of siemens make both look similar from back side mounting arrangement is similar so if you have this mcb it is very easy to replace this mcb with this this has one line and neutral supply and this is load no extra supply is required for electronic circuit everything is inside sometime arc takes lot of time to generate fire in the main time this afdd can trip the system and you can get repair the system this afdd also has power voltage protection this does not have afdd is made by many companies this afdd has power voltage protection also this does not have some afdd are available with rccb build in now i will show you this from close see here type number is written here this is 16 ampere type this is line this is back side here is small circuit diagram is shown this load is written this is imported made in germany Today we will close down.